Today we are going to be running an analysis on a duplex that is priced at only $19,900. Ryan from Santa Clarita, California, this is your video. Let's dive in. For the price, I mean, this is actually a really nice house. A little bit more rough, a little more ragged. It's going to keep those values high. Here's quarter mile comps. There's $260,000 houses right down the street. You'll be able to put your offer through me, and then after you close, Holton Wise, we can handle the property management. We'll even be able to help you with the insurance. We have lenders who will write loans for investors in all 50 states. This deal is 100% James Wise approved. James Wise denied. Hey, real estate investors, welcome to another episode of the MLS Search and Analysis Show. As always, I am your host, James Wise, and if you haven't noticed, uh, as you'll see here, we are in a new studio location. This is actually the first video we've ever filmed uh, in the new Holton Wise TV studio. Uh, so pardon the mess, I'm sure... Uh, in upcoming videos, you guys are going to see uh, the look of this studio change. Uh, my team, we're just fil finishing up the build out now. Like I know we got holes in the ceilings and you might see some wires running around and uh, things of that nature. But it is a work in progress, um, which, you know, leads me to my the first point I want to make about this show, guys. If you guys could do us a solid, if you are finding value in this show and other shows that we put on for you here at Holton Wise TV, do me a solid and smash that subscribe button and also interact with the video, okay? Hit the like button, share it, or give us a comment. The more engagement that these videos receive, that tells YouTube's algorithm that you guys are finding a ton of value, okay? And then we're able to get our message out to more folks. The more folks that we can get our message out, the more revenue we're able to generate from this show and our various other businesses. And the more revenue that we can generate, the more money that I'm putting back into this show. As you'll see from this build out here, uh, this is a pretty expensive um, studio. So the, you know, you guys help me and I'm going to put it all right back into this show to try to produce for you guys the most educational, the most transparent, the best possible show that I can to teach real estate investors uh, how to invest in real estate and to understand the business. So that leads me to the man of the hour, uh, Ryan from Santa Clarita, California. Ryan, you found yourself a duplex in Cleveland. The address, 3426 East 121st, Cleveland, Ohio, 44120. Now, this property is priced at $19,900. And let's take a look at the photos. Okay, we got the front. It's looking pretty raggedy right there, of course. Uh, this unit... When you get into these lower end um, duplexes, guys, you're going to see that what they do, like with the floor here, this isn't like a stained floor, okay? When you get to these low end duplexes, we actually, you know, you just go in and you just paint it. So that's actually just brown paint. It looks pretty scuzzy, kind of gross, but uh, that is kind of par for the course uh, in a low income neighborhood. So you'll see here, you got like a big, huge hole. Uh, like right here, you got a big, big hole in the wall there. So there's definitely some serious amount of renovation that would need to get it, uh, go into this property to get these units rentable. Just like a low class, low budget, uh, nasty kitchen here. It's kind of hard to see everything. Let me zoom this up for you. If you look right here, guys, you can see that's something that you might not have caught. Uh, but that countertop, that is broken. And then... Um, over here, it looks like the faucet is uh, broken off too. You can kind of tell it's a little blurry when we blow it up, but that faucet, you know, that's also broken. So we're looking at a decent amount of repair work <clears throat> right here. Just we got just shitty ass carpet, right? Just shitty carpet. And then in the background, you can kind of see you got a boarded up window right there. Okay. So, uh, Let's see, here in the bathroom, just like dated, kind of gross, kind of nasty, like you see a little bit of just grime 
like right there obviously there there's some grime right there the toilet looks new i would say that vanity is probably pretty old this is actually just so you guys know there actually is value here this is a cast iron uh tub these are actually very expensive very heavy i mean it looks like shit but uh i mean they're they're expensive they're nice like when people renovate uh like they take like homes and they do like high-end renovations and like old victorian style homes things of that nature uh these things are in, in like heavy demand um just just food for you know just food for thought something you should know just another room crappy carpet you'd have to repaint this go gray keep the trim white but you'd have to obviously repaint over it uh here is a shot of the other uh kitchen sink nothing special here but nothing like atrocious would probably be sort of acceptable i guess for super low end this carpet's obviously scuzzy and disgusting has to go um seen a lot of peeling paint older home like this you got lead-based paint issues to most likely worry about so uh peeling paint is going to be a no-go and then another shot of another dining room again you see the the wood floor it's actually painted so something super low income like this we wouldn't have to do uh you wouldn't have to buff it and like totally re uh refinish it you'd probably just go ahead and just do another like deck type paint um to do that so just looking at everything for you my man the price, yes, it's $19,900. Cosmetically, I would say we are probably, with everything that I've seen, we got to redo the floors, but again, we're just going to paint them. You got to repaint the entire, all the walls, patch all the holes, paint the trim. Looks like you got to do some work to the kitchen, some of the baths. I would say minimum ten thousand dollars because again we want to go super low uh low quality here for a neighborhood like this but then we also had like broken windows and then like all this like this is all peeling right here this is no good and this is a gigantic duplex okay this duplex is massive also up top i don't know if you see this but that that is all coming off so this is a a very large very huge duplex ryan uh, so you need to, and it's built before 1978, right? Anything built, uh, prior to 1978, um, there's potential for there to be a lead based paint. Uh, so what it is, if the city sees something like this, they're going to come out and they're going to test for lead based paint hazards. That's not a good thing. So what you got to do, you, you can't have any, any peeling paint. So you could either scrape it all and repaint it, or you could vinyl side it. Vinyl siding, it would be the best thing. Cause that's going to encapsulate everything. And then you don't have to worry about it. Cause you know, just like wood like this it's always gonna happen again it's just constant upkeep so i would say you probably want to vinyl side it uh but the cost to vinyl side this would probably be i would say that's about seven grand there so i got nineteen thousand nine hundred for the home ten thousand for interior cosmetic renovations and then i would say seven thousand for uh <clears throat> the exterior stuff and like just shit like this, like all that will be covered up. I think about your $7,000 budget uh, if you were to vinyl side it. Let me get out of this. Okay. <clears throat> so as far as um, the mechanicals, the big ticket items, the roof, the hot water tanks, the furnaces, the agent, they didn't say anything about this. This thing is listed by a guy from Russell Realty. Uh, all he wrote for me here was, Fantastic opportunity, Mount Pleasant, two-family home, ready for you. Each unit offers three bedrooms and one bath. Easy access to transportation and shopping. Don't miss it. So, the rest of the house looks like shit. The outside of the house has just been dilapidated. You know, it's not looked well after. So, 19900 so that's about twenty k. Uh, 10,000 in interior cosmetic renovations that I could tell just from the few pictures that I had. So that takes you up to 30K. 7K to vinyl side it. We're now at $37,000. If you have to replace furnaces, it's going to be three grand a piece. Okay, so that's $6,000 potentially. Hot water tanks will be uh, one grand, so that's two grand. Uh, electrical, you're probably looking at about maybe like $2,000, maybe three, $4,000 of electrical work. So as you'll see, the budget can, can really go up. So if you had to do all of that, you would be looking at 20000 plus the stuff I already mentioned. So that's another seventeen. So that takes you to 37000 And then if you had to do the two furnaces, that's six. We're at 43 plus two hot water tanks. We're at 45 And let's just call it 5000 which would cover our electrical and our other miscellaneous costs. So you could very easily 
uh, get into this property for fifty thousand dollars. Now I don't know if that's exactly the case, but it could be fifty. Plus you got a roof. Based on how shitty the rest of the house looks, I'm assuming that roof is probably messed up too. So that fifty uh, could easily turn into probably fifty-six, maybe fifty-seven. We'll just call it fifty-seven thousand dollars. And for that reason alone, um, I will deny this deal. Now it's three bed, one bath in each unit. The rent that we could potentially receive would be six fifty a month. Okay, even though it's three bed, you may have seen a lot of my other content on Holton Wise TV. And when we have three bedroom duplex units, typically we're renting those for much higher, like seven fifty, maybe almost even eight hundred dollars. Uh, with this one though, I think we're going to cap out at six fifty, and uh, the primary target for a tenant would be a Section Eight tenant, um, but it's still much lower now. Normally. $1,300 for a $57,000 investment, that would be a hell of a deal, man. That would be solid. Uh, but in this case, this deal is James Wise denied, and the reason being is the location. Uh, this is actually an F-class neighborhood. Um, like in a lot of these analysis uh, videos, right, like I would go in, like, because we have a potential gross rent of $1,300. And then I'd like to break down the numbers with you. I would go over your capital expenditures, uh, your repairs, vacancy, water, sewer, lawn care, you know, things of that nature. But I can't do that with you um, on this particular property because the neighborhood is just so bad. Like this is... This is one of the most blighted and dangerous neighborhoods in uh, the city of Cleveland. So any like reasonable metric that I normally utilize uh, when I make these analysis videos for you folks, um, it would be disingenuous because I, I don't know if this property is going to perform anywhere near that because like these are very, very tough neighborhoods and like the property is vacant, right? And I added in when I got that 57 I added in the idea of doing those two furnaces uh, doing some electrical work the hot water tanks you gotta understand in a neighborhood like this when a house is empty we saw a boarded up window the reason being is people probably broke in all the copper very possible that all the copper has been stolen out of this home maybe even the copper wiring like you'll get copper thieves to come in like this is just a very very rough and tough neighborhood I want to show you something like when you guys are looking to buy properties, you can do this research on your own at home. Like you might look at the particular property, okay? And you go to your Google Street View here. Let me plug us in here. And you're like, oh, this is a relatively decent looking street. We got all these houses. Nothing like super nice, uh, but it's, it's not necessarily the most horrible thing in the world. So you might be thinking, oh, this looks similar to a C-class neighborhood, right? Because this is kind of what a C-class street would look like. And then you see your particular home, and you're like, oh, this is the shittiest house on the block. That's that's good, right? Guys, we're real estate investors. Buying the crummiest house on the street is typically what we want to do. But you got to look a little deeper than that, okay? If we go to the sky view, let me make this big. All right, it tells like a completely different story here. All right, so this is you. This is your house, and we just did the Google Street View up and down, and it looks halfway decent. So we could kind of paint the picture that it's a relatively decent neighborhood. But if you look closer, right here, okay, that was a house that got torn down. So that's one. Over here, that's another house that got torn down. That is two. Over here, three, four, five, okay. And then up here on our street, 6, and then here, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33. So there is 33 homes within a map shot of this home where the house got so dilapidated, so bad, that it was smarter to just tear the home down. Most likely what had happened is the people that own those houses just walked away from them. You know, you hear the term zombie houses, things of that nature. They're just like, screw this. This house is too bad. I don't want to deal with it. They usually let them go into tax foreclosure. And then the city takes them back. And then the city itself, they come out. They tear the home down because you can't just have uh, a bunch of vacant homes out there because it becomes a liability, right? You get junkies, drug addicts. They'll go into the homes. They'll shoot up their drugs. Uh, crimes are committed near, in, and around vacant homes. You know, kids get kidnapped, stuff like that. It's like a, a place for... 
uh, you know, deplorables to go and have a little bit of cover. So what cities do is they take the land back after it's taxed for clothes and they plow the houses down um, unless the neighborhood is nice enough where it makes sense to just fix it up. But when you have a, a really blighted, really tough, rough area, it just makes more sense to just tear them down. Uh, so that's what we're dealing with here. So if you were to purchase this thing at 57000 right, 20000 plus 10000 interior, and then 7000 for the siding, and then I just factored in doing two furnaces, two hot water tanks, a bunch of electrical, could even be in a roof, could also even be a little bit higher, uh, having to like retrofit and put more uh, plumbing, right? Like whatever uh, copper plumbing got stolen, we'd want to probably reinstall it with PEX. So 57, but you could easily be an even higher. You could even be in the mid 60s, uh, which would still be an okay deal for bringing in $1,300 rent, which is what this could potentially bring in. But like, I cannot guarantee you, well, I could never guarantee that you'll bring in uh, rent all the time, but like, I, I can't stand here and tell you that I think there's like a reasonable expectation of you bringing in uh, that rent on a consistent basis. And then when you do get a vacancy, uh, if both your units go vacant, we run an extremely high risk of vandals coming back into the property and just destroying it, stealing everything. Now, obviously, we're going to go with the PEX, so there's no copper for them to steal, uh, which is going to limit your exposure. But just neighborhoods like this, it's like... It's incredibly tough, man. It's just super blighted. So I definitely got to deny, man. This deal, James Wise denied. I mean, just like pretty much anybody who's an out-of-state investor, Ryan, I, I like to deny deals in neighborhoods like this. I just don't think it's safe. And like looking at you specifically with what you want to do, what you told me, I just want to go over like some details about you now. Uh, you said you're a first-time home investor, right? Uh, this will be your first ever purchase. You are pre-approved up to $75,000. I believe you said you had twenty five to 30000 cash uh, to use, and you can get a loan as high as $75,000. You're interested in doing Burr deals, um, and as far as like neighborhood quality, you eventually want to see A, B, and C properties in your portfolio, but you know you can't uh, necessarily afford uh, a and B right now, which is true. You really can't, uh, but you could definitely find a nice niche in there with C, right? You're approved for 75 grand, man. Like for $75,000, we can get you a really nice, like single family home, uh, in like old Brooklyn. Based in Indianapolis, Indiana, FS Houses is the premier investment property brokerage with an in-house property management department that can take care of all those unwanted landlord headaches. FS Houses can offer you the complete turnkey solution as well as wholesale properties offered to you at a discounted rate. With a network of thousands of active investors, wholesalers, and brokers, FS Houses can help you sell your property for top dollar on the open market or in a hurry to motivated investors seeking distressed real estate. Visit FSHouses.com or call 317-492-9025 for more information on the Indianapolis, Indiana real estate. Holton Wise has a worldwide audience of real estate investors. If you are a lender, home inspector, or anyone else with a real estate related business who would like to increase your sales and exposure with an ad in one of our videos, go to holtonwise.com today. Duplexes, they're gonna be like a little bit higher than 75. Uh, we're typically selling like C-class duplexes, like rent ready, ready to go, or you bought it, needed a little bit of work, and then it gets rent ready. You're usually in for about 85000 right now. But every now and again, you could find something that needs like a little bit of work. Um, so you're only approved uh, for 75000 and I believe that is going to be a lot less than what you have in cash for your down payment. Just let me do this real quick. So $75,000, you are going to need to put down 25%. So eighteen thousand seven hundred fifty. I think you said you have about twenty-five to thirty thousand dollars. So that could leave you with something. You could purchase a nice C-class duplex for seventy-five grand, and then maybe do like seven to ten thousand dollars of cosmetic renovations. You do something like that, you'll get a similar rent, thirteen hundred, maybe even a little higher. You do like nice upgraded cosmetic renovations. You'll probably be around the fourteen hundred dollar rent range. Um, 
that would be in a nice C-class area. That's something that's stable. We could actually run the numbers on that, and I can give you like a reasonable expectation uh, of the type of performance you're going to get. So that's what I'd like to see you do right now. And then eventually as you build up your portfolio, uh, grow this thing, you could migrate into A or B assets. Uh, but right now it doesn't make sense to try to jump the gun uh, to get into this investment because A, the renovation cost is just gigantic uh, and the actual repair value is going to be considerably less than what you'd have to put into this thing anyway. So we could just deny it based upon that fact. And then, of course, the other important factor here would be the neighborhood is just so blighted. It's rough. If you only this, this would be like your whole nest egg right now. This is not a stable property to build the base of your investment portfolio. So. Uh, definitely pass on this one. And what I'd like to see you do, Ryan, is take a look at C-class duplexes. Okay, we might be able to find you something that is just a little beat up, you know, around the 75K price point. Maybe it's listed at 80, but we can get you get you the property for about 75 and then have you spend like seven to $10,000 cosmetic renovations, then get yourself two tenants in there paying between 650 and 750. Uh, that would be a solid, stable base. So what you can do, Ryan, you can continue watching the investment properties for sale show. I have a ton of duplexes that come out, but right now we're, we're seeing the price points around 85, 5,000 as I say this to you today but another thing you can do uh, because when they come out on my show just so you know full disclosure dude uh, I'm the number one seller in Cleveland of rental properties so when they come out on my show I pretty much get 20 offers uh, you know the day they come out so like full priced offers a lot of guys are paying cash things of that nature you might find yourself getting outbid because um, you're not the strongest buyer in the world because I we, we know 75 is like pretty much your max uh, with your loan and then you know anything like in that little general range is going to need some renovation. So you need that extra cash you have to, to fund your renovation. So if you're finding yourself getting outbid on the investment properties for sale show by other investors who are a little further along in the process, what I think you should do, man, uh, I want to have you, I'll show you actually, just go over here to holtonwise.com, okay? The property search tab, right? So that's the investment properties for sale show. Uh, but if you go to the MLS search and analysis show, obviously that's you know what we're doing here. But this is a new feature, okay? I don't know if you've seen this yet. At the bottom of that page, right? I have these new products. They're called real time MLS uh, feed, okay? And what this is, I'm giving you my direct MLS access, and I broke it down into categories, okay? So it starts A class, single family, multi family, commercial. So what I'd want you to do, Ryan, I'd want you to chill right here in the C class. What I think you should be doing is the real-time MLS feed for the C class multifamily properties. That's going to be that's going to be properties uh, that are all in the C class range which I think makes the most sense for you. Uh, so you just purchase that, you click add to cart, you could purchase that product and the moment that these properties hit the MLS, the very moment you're going to get an automatic update from me. So if you're currently looking at like Zillow or Realtor.com or anything of that nature. Like you're seeing the data probably two, three, four days after I've already had access to it. So like literally the moment when another listing agent puts their property on the market or drops the price, you'll get that uh, email notification from me. And you don't have to specifically just do C-class duplexes. I've broken it out into other stuff. You know, we got single family homes and C, B, D, whatever you want. You know, maybe you want to also do something for B-class single family homes. Um, because with what you have available, the 75K and a little bit extra because you have more than your down payment in cash. Uh, we could either get you a pretty decent duplex with a little cosmetic reno in a C-class neighborhood, or we could also get you a B-class single family home for about that price point. And you're looking at something that's going to rent for, you know, should rent north of a thousand, maybe like a thousand, maybe like 1100 bucks. And that's going to be even safer. Either of these options are going to be great uh, for you to build this investment portfolio. Because, you know, think about it like a pyramid, man. You need to build a nice, solid, strong base. And we're only going to be able to build you a strong base here uh, with stable rental properties. So you got to go C, you got to go B. I do not want to see you spend all of your money, uh, go into your first investment halfway across the country and end up in like literally the worst <laughs> neighborhood uh, in the Cleveland area. Uh, also, too... Uh, when you're on HoltonWise.com, just so you know, bro, uh, tools and resources, okay, the ultimate guide to grading Cleveland neighborhoods. 
And on there, I graded everything on an A to F scale, right? So A is the least risk, uh, F is the highest risk. And you'll see if we scroll all the way down here, 44120 is firmly in the F class, okay? That is an F class neighborhood right along with areas like East Cleveland. So just super blighted, super tough. Uh, so st stay out of there, Ryan. I don't think that's a good move for you, man. Uh, that's everything I've got for you today. Uh, for everyone else who's watched the show today, I hope you found some value, as I said in the top of the show. If you did find some value, do us a favor, smash the subscribe button, and then interact with the video. Hit the like button, share it, make a comment. You know, even if you hated the video, but you've watched it this far through, go ahead and just leave me a comment like, hey, James, fuck you. I watched your whole video. I hate you. You know, let me know something. Just let YouTube's algorithm know that you're watching it, you're engaged with it. That's going to tell their algorithm that people are engaged with this video. It's going to boost it up into the search rankings, which is going to help our incoming revenue, which again, as you'll see from the new studio layout here, I'm putting it right back into the show for you guys to try to bring you a better show. Now, the next show that you see in the studio, the studio might look a little bit different. We literally are just in the process of building it out right now. I know we got some technical issues going on. I saw this screen glitching and, uh, you know, I got cords hanging all over the place. Uh, we even got a hole in the ceiling. So there's a lot more work to be done. Um, so I hope you guys stick around and take a look at all of that. As always, I'm James Wise with Holton Wise, and this is Real Estate Investing Made Easy. For the price, I mean, this is actually a really nice house. A little bit more rough, a little more ragged. Gonna keep those values high. Here's quarter mile comps. There's $260,000 houses right down the street. You'll be able to put your offer through me, and then after you close, Holton Wise, we can handle the property management, We'll even be able to help you with the insurance. We have lenders who will write loans for investors in all 50 states. This deal is 100% James Wise approved. James Wise denied. Rent Tech Direct provides you with an easy to use yet robust platform for managing your properties, complete with its built-in reporting and accounting system that can be customized to fit your business. For property managers, you get advanced features like simplified owner distributions, automated management and placement fees, an owner portal, plus the software is certified for trust accounting. All this comes backed by the highest rated customer support team in the industry, certified by third parties and ranked number one by our clients year over year. You get unlimited free access to our US-based support team by phone, email and chat who will help you getting started or anywhere along the way. Cleveland, Ohio is widely considered to be one of the top rental markets in the entire United States. This is because here in Cleveland, our housing prices are low and our rental prices and demand are high. At Holton Wise, we provide the complete turnkey solution for all real estate investors, whether they are local, out of state, or even abroad. As real estate brokers, we will provide you with agent representation to help you buy properties ranging from single family homes to large apartment complexes. We even have referrals for lenders who can provide investment property loans to investors located in all 50 states, allowing you to capitalize on the use of leverage or other people's money. We have referrals to top-notch title companies so you know that all of your transactions are safe and secure, with every single property being delivered to you with clear title. Once you close on the property, we have an investor-focused insurance brokerage who can handle all your property insurance needs. This insurance brokerage handles auto, home, life, and business policies, but they specialize in working with policies for landlords. We also have full service property management. We can handle all rental property advertisements, tenant placement, rent collection, evictions, maintenance, landscaping, construction, and repairs. In addition, Holton Wise also offers digital media and education. One day, when you are ready to sell your investment, Holton Wise, as the number one seller of investment properties in the greater Cleveland area, 
can market your property in a video, just like this one, to our worldwide base of investors who are looking to capitalize on the high cash flow opportunities in the Cleveland, Ohio market. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on our latest content including video tours and analysis of investment properties that are available for sale, real estate investment education, and our most interesting encounters with tenants from hell. Holton Wise, real estate investing made easy.